What's going on, everybody? This is Temperature Check. I am your host, as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature, how y'all doing? Before we get started with today's content, I must do what I always do anytime you see me on your screen. And that's thank you for the likes, comments, shares, most importantly, those subscriptions. So whether you be a day one fan or someone who just started rocking with me today, man, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're loving what I got going on my YouTube, you want to stay engaged with me on what I got going on outside of this? Hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Twitter, Mr. Check the Temperature on both of them platforms. But before we get started off into today's topic, I have to talk about this temperature checker pearl. Shout out to y'all, man. The, the hats are doing good. The hoodies are doing good. The pre-orders are doing good numbers, man. So if you're interested in a temperature check hat, a temperature check hoodie, again, we got them in five colors, two different grays. If you're interested in that, in that stuff, man, hit me up in the comment section here. Hit me up on my social media platforms. Mystic Check the Temperature, and we'll get you right for the 2021. So, let's get off into today's topic, man. The URL had the NWX Showcase. My bad. I mean, the URL had the NWX Talent Show. One last time. The URL had their super fight card yesterday. And we had four battles. And there was a constant theme with the first two and a constant theme with the second two. If you watch the battles, you know what I'm talking about. Because the first two, we saw body bags. They was piling up. COVID-19 piling up. Then the other two, you got to go back and watch two, three, four times. You got to really do a bar for bar breakdown with those. So we're going to kind of kind of put them on the back burner. But we need to talk about these body bags. First battle of the night, Drugs versus Danny Myers. So who do you think got 30? Hmm? Who do you think got 30? Are you entertaining? Take a guess. You got a 50% chance. Oh, you already know that Drugs lost 3-0? Okay, cool. What we need to talk about is Danny Myers. Now, Danny, you just come off a great performance against Drugs where you clearly 30 him. You show levels, but guess what? The needle did this. It didn't move one way or the other because you just battled Drugs. So, what I'm basically saying is no one cares that you just battled Drugs and you just 30 Drugs. It does not matter. It does not move the needle far as your legacy, far as your career at all. Appreciate you giving drugs a shot, though. Definitely appreciate you giving drugs a shot. Didn't mean nothing, though. But what we need to talk about is how we get your name to where you say it should be. You run around talking about you're the GOAT. You run around talking about saying you're a legend, you're one of the greatest. And I, I believe you are a legend. I believe... You are one of the greatest, but sir, in order to be treated like a tr king, in order to be treated like a king, one must act like one, sir. And you do not act like one out here battling drugs. Is Goods battling drugs? Is Murder Mook battling drugs? Is Loaded Lux battling drugs? So again, sir, if you want to be treated like a king, you got to act like one. It's... No, Arsenal did battle drugs. So maybe you are liking like a king. I see what you did there. Because you... Never mind, never mind. We'll say that for another day. But we need to talk about this third round that you had with uh, drugs, sir. You left Earth in that third round. And I felt like you sent a message. You know, I kind of sift through, through what you were saying in your bars. I felt like you sent a message to your upcoming opponent. You sent a message to Arsenal. Arsenal, don't play with me. Arsenal, don't play with my legacy. Arsenal, I'm coming to make an example out of you. Who am I? Let's, let's get into this third round by Danny Myers. Let's talk about a couple lines. I'm from a troubled past. I've been stuffed in tag and slash while stuffed inside a duffel bag. Who am I? I'm the reason N-words clapping. I'm the reason T-top and easy to block captain rapping. Who am I? 
I'm the reason fiends stand around. I'm different colors, tan and brown, different weights from grams to pounds. Who am I? Back in the day, your mama probably traded her body for me. Who am I? To test the potency, I was submerged within fire, then ended careers and started empires. Who am I? He was drugs. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I love that third round by Danny Myers. Danny Myers, I see you cooking, sir, and I get it. But again, in order for us to treat you how you want to be treated, you got to treat yourself how you want to be treated, sir. Come on, man. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's people that battle consistently like you. Rum Nitty. We're going to get to that one. Rum Nitty is a consistent battler. JC is a consistent battler. I have both of them above you. Why is that? It's not by lack of talent. Danny Myers, I don't know when your career is going to end, and I'm not hoping it ends anytime soon. But I do know when it is all said and done, sir, you're going to be considered one of the hardest working battle rappers of all time. But will you be considered one of the greatest? And that is the question that you need to ask yourself. How do you end up in the conversation as being one of the greatest of all time? So, let's talk about a couple of announcements that were made during the URL Supercard. So, you had a uh, Smack Volume coming up, you know, January 23rd. There was a, a lot of battles announced. Actually, a lot of battles were announced. So, we already know what the main event is. It's Rock versus Verb. But how do you like DNA versus Av? How do you like... B dot versus Saga. B dot bodies him. Never mind. Um, how do you like Arsenal versus Danny Myers? What about Chilla and K Shine? Mm-hmm. And the one battle that I did not see coming, the one battle that has me very perplexed. Twerk is coming back. Now, when we talked about Twerk coming back, we talked about possibly, you know what I'm saying, against a Briz because he needed a star. Because a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, couldn't, they're not going to be able to stand up to that star power and that, that energy that Twerk is going to bring when he comes back to the stage. It don't matter if it's in a quiet room with no crowd, a big room with 2,000 people. He's going to have an energy about him when he gets back on that stage. And the person that they gave him, it wasn't it wasn't a Hitman Holla. It wasn't Briz Rothstein. Hell, it wasn't even B-Dot. Jay the Nightwing. Mad King. Well, we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about this card. We're going to talk about this card in the upcoming blog. But we got to get to that second body of the night. And I'm honestly a little disappointed that this was a body because I had high hopes for Don Marino. But Don Marino got body. You know, Don Marino, um, this was obviously his biggest plate. Rum Nitty, man, not only is Rum Nitty dangerous, just as is, you got a Rum Nitty that's been sitting off for two months. And again, like I said in the predictions, he just been pinning. That's all he been doing is pinning. He been pinning, waiting. So, yes, we had a 3-0 by Rum Nitty, a body bag. But this is what I'll say about Rum Nitty. There's a couple of things I got to say before I want. I want to get into some of his bars. Don Marino had a very strong slip up in the second. It kind of reminded you of when Rum Nitty slipped up against k -Shine. And then, you know, k -Shine was encouraging Nitty to get it back. Nitty paid it forward. He did the same thing for Don. You know, um, a lot of times in situations like that, if a battle rapper is choking, stumbling, he calls time on himself, it's time to, it's time to step on his throat. 
But Rum Nitty understood the importance of this battle for Don Marino. He understood that this was his chance to show what he could really do. And he wanted to give Don Marino the opportunity to do that. And so for that, I definitely want to salute Rum Nitty. But I also want to salute Rum Nitty for this. Addressing the narrative that he battles too much. And essentially, in the third round, he addressed this by simply saying this. Why would I wait around for these top tiers, God tiers, to want to battle me and get paid the same amount as if I would take someone a third of their talent level and I got to do a third of the work? Makes sense to me. If he's going to get paid the same anyway, makes sense to me. So shout out to Rum Nitty for really, I, I think, putting away that narrative, really dead in that narrative. Very strategic by you, but we got to talk about some of these bars, sir, because you lost your damn mind. And I love, hold on, I love the way you called out Daylight too, because at the end of the day, a lot of people it, are ducking Daylight. Let's just be honest. A lot of people do not want to battle Daylight. The only people that I know for sure who want to battle Daylight right now, K-Shine and Rum Nitty. Ain't nobody else stepping up and saying nothing about them. At all. But I like the fact that Romney said, I'm the big dog here. You got how many battles on the URL? No. You need more plates. I need, I'm giving you the shot. I need to see you do more. You the rookie. I'm the vet. This ain't KOTD. This is URL. I run this yard. I like that. I like that. Punch the bully in the face. I'm tired of people just... I get it. He had a great three rounds about Rock with Rock. He had a great three rounds. Phenomenal. Best three rounds of the year. Okay, cool. How many times has he given us performances like that? Remember, a lot of these battle rappers are a little hesitant on taking daylight in the first place because he plays too much. You never know what kind of daylight you're going to get. He'll tell you he's not playing, and then he'll show up like a slave. He'll tell you he's not playing, and he'll take a shh on the stage. He'll tell you he not playing and he will wipe his testicles and try to slap you in the face with the hand he wiped them down with. Now, we all know he ain't doing that to me, but these are some of the antics that come with a daylight. So I like what you did, Rum Nitty. I definitely like that. Put the pressure on him to respond. He now has to make a move. You put, you transferred the energy. That's what you did. You transferred the energy Back to daylight. You, you smart. Let's get into these bars. Let's see, let's see how smart you really was in this battle. I only took a again. This was a body. It was a body. It was clear. So we're not gonna give you every round. I'm gonna give you some of the stuff that I liked. Mexican bars. You could have given me a cannon in that case. Desperado. I put your own flesh on you like a skin graft. That is a because you know a skin. That is crazy, bro. He said you lost to the mafia saga. Shows you ain't gonna last, Don. Because you know it. It's just levels, man. When you talking about Nitty, he is he really is an alien. Like he really is different. He said they spill a little liquor. For the fallen members. So deport it out after you get ice. Deport it out after you got ice. But deport the liquor out after you got ice. Mmm. Because you put. Wow. It, it, it was really level shown. Um, this was one that I thought was fire. You missed the whole point of why I took Marino like Ray Finkel. The Ace Ventura bar pet detective? Some of y'all, y'all a little young. Y'all might not know nothing about that. But then you had the joke about Don Marino coming to the battle with all his family members in one car. He said, take a whole family out on one accord? Come on, man. He was trying to get off the ropes like Rosewood? So many high lows. They think I'm bipolar. And Dawn couldn't take this out 
It's the spaghetti stain. I told you. Didn't I tell you about that Don? I told you about that Don. Look, I told you about to be Don soap. What ended up happening? Ended up being Don soap. But they also let us know about kings versus queens. And I like the date, February 13th. You know, Valentine's love is in the air. Who do y'all want to see on that card? I'm thinking Miss Hustle and Vixen is going to be on that card. I'm thinking Loso is going to be on that card. I'm thinking First Lady Flames is going to be on that card. Possibly JC being on that card. I would love to see Bill Collector on this card. But then we got to talk about this easy to block captain versus T-Top. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't give you a lot of the bars because the internet was going in and out. So I had to rewatch what I could. But this is what I'll tell you. There is a difference to when easy to block captain talks and when he raps. It's a lot of people that say like they talk to people, but he literally talks within his raps. You hear the conviction. Like, it's a lot of people that rap with conviction, but it is a different level of conviction. It is a different level of pain that Easy to Block Captain has the ability to articulate. He paints a picture. He has you in the kitchen with him. It's a lesson in every bar. I believe that. I believe that. T-Top. This is what I'll say to you, sir. Your angles, first round, drug dealer. Second round, you did a whole round talking about Easy's uh, fiance, wife, girl, whatever, getting, you know what I'm saying, exposed by twerk. Dude, Arsenal did the same thing with you. And he showed the video on stage. It, it fell flat for me. But... Again, but you got out angled in a second. I feel like you got out angled in a second because easy to block says, Why are you such an opportunist? Why do you put down other people to try to elevate yourself? Every time you talk about Swamp, you putting them down. He from the same place you from. You from the Carolinas, you from the Carolinas. Briz, why you ain't help Briz? You said that's not your, not my crew king, not my crew king. But it's just very awkward and very apparent almost that when Easy is rapping, he is rapping with such conviction, such enthusiasm, such passion that you can't help but gravitate to his bars. You just can't. His believability, him telling you, I know you're not a real drug dealer. I know you're not really from the hood because if you was really from the hood, the people that you've been talking bad about for having a job, like Rum Nitty, the people you've been talking bad about for going to school, like BDOT, that's what we told them to do. We told them don't glorify this life. T-Top, I'm not about to sit here and say you becoming one-dimensional, but you coming a little bit predictable. You're becoming a little bit predictable. I think you might need to you might need to tweak some things. You still fire. I'm not saying you're not <laughs> no 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 no. You're not about to get me in no situation like that. I'm not saying you're not fire. But what I'm saying is, if people really paid attention to you and really watched the game tape. I think Easy the Black Captain knew exactly what he, he was going to do. And that's why it looked a certain way on Cam. DNA versus Gichi Gotti. I'll be quite frank, bro. Like, I'm still trying to, you know what I'm saying? The audio was bad. It was going in and out for me. Um, you know, I was getting phone calls during the battle. It was all bad. So I really can't even tell you what was going on with that one. But. I'm sure when the caffeine when it drops on the uh, URL app, I got y'all. If anyone want to send me a screen record, I take that too. Um, but this is temperature check. I am your host as always, man. Mister, check the temperature and like always, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We just getting started.